my personal experience has been hardship, depression, not being just accepted for who I am. I have to look at myself every day in the mirror and see the perfect me, but I want the whole package where and I can feel comfortable under my own skin. And what would that whole package be? Why sue the New York State Department of Health? To have the right to have um, reassignment surgery. So, Mujagehi, could you explain why it is that Medicaid did not do what Medicare did in uh, allowing these procedures? Yeah, well, the Medicaid regulation in the state of New York is really dated. It goes back to 1998, and it was passed sort of under the radar, um, and it's a blanket exclusion to all transition-related health care. The only comments submitted were by two physicians who actually said that the care is medically necessary and not experimental. And the state of New York went ahead anyways. And, and we think now is the time, right, with this Medicare decision. There's also the Affordable Care Act has a um, regulation that says it cannot discriminate on the basis of gender identity and expression, which we mean we think means all me state-based Medicaid programs should also cover transition-related health care. So, and they make the argument that somehow Medicaid makes the argument that these procedures are somehow dangerous for people who undergo them. And is that the justification that they provide? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then how come that wasn't true when Medicare changed its policies? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that that is the justification that the Department of Health in New York uses, and it's extremely dated. We've seen, and, and actually the regulation is supposed to be up for review each year, um, and we haven't had any, seen any movement on it since 1998. During that time, the American Medical Association has said that the care is medically necessary, the American Psychiatric Association, the World Professional Standards for Transgender Health Care, now Medicare, and the Affordable Care Act. So we think now is the time that New York really needs to get on board. Last month, a New York activist interrupted a speech by the New York State Health Commissioner to demand Medicaid coverage for transgender health care. Members of the Sylvia Rivera Law Project took over the stage at a health conference during a keynote address by Commissioner Howard Zucker. They displayed a banner with the hashtag TransHealthCareNow. Member Reina Gossett spoke from the stage for several minutes. We're here to say that right now, New York State Department of Health has a regulation that specifically excludes transgender people from accessing health care under Medicaid. Commissioner Howard Zucker has the power to change that. Please join us in demanding that Commissioner Zucker and the Department of Health end discrimination against transgender people in the great state of New York. This is your um, organization, the Sylvia Rivera Law Project. Yes. Um, Pooja Gehi, explain how New York differs from other states, like Massachusetts. Yeah. Well, New York continues to have a regulation that specifically excludes all transition-related health care. And in actuality, they cover the exact same health care for non-trans people, but not for trans people under Medicaid. So what happened in Massachusetts is that the state um, the state Medicaid program reversed its regulation that excluded transition-related health care. And New York actually has the power to do the exact same thing.